today um, because I have the time and because I love educating and my little baby's content and my two are out of the house, I am going to do a little mini class and, um, and yeah, and just go over some of my top favorite oils, how to use them, and then um, I'll look through and see if there's any questions I can answer. Okay, so mini class. I can't wait to be doing my in-person classes again. Um, I'm starting that next month, actually. I've got two classes on the books, and I'm super stoked. But in the meantime, here's a little mini class for you online. So when we're thinking about um, natural wellness, we are thinking about the modern day approach versus the natural approach. And really the modern day approach is designed to manage symptoms. And you know what, doctors are amazing. Where would we be without doctors? Medicine is amazing. Where would we be without medicine? My son, my oldest son is anaphylactic to tree nuts and nuts and peanuts. And without his EpiPen, that is his life saving device. I need that medicine. But I love that I can support 90% of everyday needs with natural wellness. And modern day approach focuses on the symptoms. The natural approach, we really focus on preventative healthcare. We are focusing on the whole package. And really, we're using natural wellness so we don't get to the point where we need to go to the doctor to get medicine. We are supporting our bodies on an every single day basis like we should. They work really, our bodies work so hard for us. Let's give it the love, care, time, and energy it deserves. And um, I am seeing that more now in my life than I ever have before. My eyes have been opened tremendously about how to really take care of my body and really listening to my body and what it needs. And I'm so grateful that I have these tools to support almost all of my everyday needs. For me personally, it pretty much is all my everyday needs. For my son who also needs his medicine for his um, allergy, it's 99.99% .99 of everyday needs. So natural wellness is we're thinking about proactive healthcare. Okay, so when you're diving into natural wellness and specifically doTERRA, you need to know that these oils are extremely pure, extremely potent. You need to make sure you're using them safely and effectively. And I always like to share with my people at my class, my customers, um, using less is more with essential oils. You do not need to dump 20 drops into your diffuser. You do not need to put cover your body in oils. Uh, yes, do I rub oils on all day long? 100% for so many different needs, but a little goes a long way. Um, one to two drops at a time with some carrier oil and keeping your body consistently supported throughout the day. So not 20 drops in the morning and 20 drops at night. One to two drops a couple hours later, one to two drops. And if you feel like you are coming down with something or if you're managing something that's actually going on in your body and you're really looking to tackle it, perhaps you do it even every hour, little bits every hour. We wanna make sure we keep our bodies consistently supported. And what oils want to do, they want to bring your body back to homeostasis. They want to bring your body, they're designed, they're plant medicine designed to bring your body back to its natural balance. Whatever your balance is might be different than my balance, but it's designed to bring your body back to balance. So little bits here and there throughout the day is all you need. Consistency is key. And make sure you're going with certified pure therapeutic grade. You need to be a well-informed consumer because you're the one who's putting the stuff in your body, on your children's body, it's going in the diffuser. You need to know what's in your oils. With doTERRA, you can be 100% sure these oils, there's no synthetics, there's no chemicals, there's no fillers, there's no fragrance. We do so much testing on these oils. Certified pure therapeutic grade, and we send them out, every single drop goes to the Aromatic Plant Research Center to get third party testing. So you are safe to know that if you're using doTERRA, you have the purest of the pure essential oils. Plus, where we are getting these oils, we don't have a 
you know, a giant tented farm in the US growing all our own stuff. We don't do that. We go to where these oils are naturally harvested. We go to where they are in their natural atmosphere with the soil, with the growing conditions. Everything is perfect in their natural environment and we create partnerships with the people that spend their lives growing this stuff and harvesting this stuff and create these beautiful partnerships and help not only are we getting the best of the best essential oils, but we're also helping out the social and economic um, areas of so many people around the world, many in even third world countries that don't have running water, that don't have medical clinics, that don't have education. We are there to help them because they are helping us so much with these beautiful, beautiful oils. So make sure you're a good advocate. You're checking where your oils are from. Hopefully you're just using doTERRA. Um, now, this is specific to doTERRA. If you have a bottle of doTERRA, you can look, I don't know if you can see here, you can see there, on the bottom of your essential oil bottle will be a number. You can actually go to source to you, S-O-U-R-C-E-T-O-Y-O-U.com, add in, type in this little number here, and that is specific to your bottle of lavender. You're gonna see where it was harvested, when it was harvested, and you can actually download a PDF of all the chemical constituents that are in this oil. It's called a GCMS, and I can't say the whole not the whole word, but I know just the letters. GCMS report, you can download it. We are 100% transparent. Go to uh, source to you.com, check it out, and you'll learn a ton there. Amazing website. Okay, so the three ways to use oils. Now, if you are an avid oil user, you probably know this, but I have a lot of people that are just starting out or thinking about starting out. Sorry, my legs are getting, uh, my legs are getting, falling asleep. So I wanna make sure I go over the three ways to use. The first way, aromatic. That is simply opening up a bottle of oil, <sighs> smelling it right out of the bottle, or having it in the diffuser in your room. Just by being in a room with a diffuser going, within 20 minutes, those oils have been able to penetrate every single cell within your body. Bam, mic drop. That's how I feel after I say that. It's absolutely incredible. They can actually penetrate through the cells in your body. Not a lot of things can do that. Essential oils can, and because they are so, so super tiny. So aromatic, it's the easiest way to actually reap the benefits of essential oils. If you have someone that might need the benefits of essential oils, but they aren't willing to put them on topically or take them internally, which is totally fine, diffuse around them. They are still reaping those benefits, okay? So diffusing, aromatic, first way to use your oils. Second way is topically, and topically is simply adding the oils to your skin. So pulse points, I always like to think my wrists, my neck, down my spine, soles of my feet. If you, if you have digestive issues, it's gonna be right on your stomach. Um, when you're using topically, like I said, less is more, but more frequently throughout the day, carrier oil. If you're using oils, you need a carrier oil. I would never suggest you go out there and just throw your oils on top. We gotta be safe when we're using these oils. They're pure and potent, like I said, one drop of peppermint is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So just keep that in mind. These oils are pure and potent. One drop can go so, so, so far. So fractionated coconut oil is my favorite carrier oil of choice. You can use avocado oil, shea oil, literally olive oil. You could use whatever oil you want to carry the, the essential oil onto your skin. And what I love about um, a carrier oil is it does not change the efficacy of the essential oils. Honestly, it keeps the oils from flashing off your skin. So these are essential oils are volatile aromatic compounds, which means they're going to just flash off. So adding on a carrier oil when you're using your oils topically really is beneficial to keep those oil essential oils on you longer. And it also helps, um, localize wherever you're putting your essential oil. So say you have digestive discomfort and you're using digestin or ginger or fennel or peppermint and you want that localized on your stomach, you're gonna add a couple drops into your hand, put squirt in some coconut oil and rub onto your stomach because it's going to stay localized in that area. 
So topical, second way to use essential oils. Third way to use essential oils is internal. And some people are down with internal use, some people aren't. And you know what, whatever floats your boat. Just letting you know that this is a third way you can benefit from your essential oils, is taking them internally. Some people take them internally in their teas. Some people take them internally in their water, like me. I put a drop or two of um, citrus oils. I have clementine in here right now, all throughout the day to have a gentle cleanse on my body. Um, you can really, Taking them internally is, for me, I've found super beneficial, especially when we're thinking about immune support. Um, in the fall and winter months, I have a drop of On Guard and a drop of lemon in my tea with honey every single day to constantly keep my immune system supported because I know I can't live in a bubble. I'm gonna come in contact with germs. So just as a way to keep my immune system supported. Now, when you're taking your oils internally, there are things called veggie caps. I had no clue what these were when I started. I was like, veggie caps, what could that be? So here's veggie caps. Here's veggie caps and stuff. And all they are is a little capsule. You take apart, put together, take apart, put together, and you add your oils into here. And if you don't want to taste your oils, especially like oregano, which is a hot oil, you don't want to take it that way anyway. You put your oils in here and then you take your oils internally this way. And it's just another way of get, reaping the benefits of your essential oils. Okay, so, and if you're using them in your water, make sure you're not using a plastic water bottle. You want to make sure you're using aluminum, metal, glass, um, always when you're using your essential oils in your water or your drinks. And, um, Let's see, so we did aromatic, topical, and internal. Three ways to use essential oils. Now I wanna briefly go over my couple favorite ways to use um, my top oils. These are oils that we use a lot in my home. Um, the oils that we probably have focused on the most throughout this quarantine experience. And I'm super excited to share my favorite ways to use them. So let's start with the lovely lavender. I could smell this oil all day. And you know what, when I first got my lavender, I was like, ooh, that doesn't smell like lavender. Well, it's, I was used to Bath and Body Works lavender, which actually isn't lavender. It's like this crap fragrance, chemical fragrance that they put together. This is pure lavender. We get it from France and it is amazing. Okay, so lavender, all things calming and soothing. Um, I used a lot of lavender with my boys when I first started when they were a lot younger. Um, and just wanted to create an overall calm, serene environment. We add lavender to the soles of our feet at bedtime. Uh, we make a linen spray with some lavender in a little glass bottle with water and we spritz on our linens and our pillows. The boys have come up with their own creations of what they really like, but all of them do include lavender because it's calming, it's soothing. It's also really calming and soothing internally if you take it internally. And, um, if you have any type of respiratory support, if you deal with seasonal or environmental threats, lavender is a beautiful oil to use along combined with lemon and peppermint, which I'll go over too. Um, lavender, if you, we just got home from the beach, we use a lot of lavender in our after sun sprays because it's soothing for the skin. If you have any type of reactions to bug bites or you get inflamed skin after bug bites, adding on a little lavender on there will help stop the itch soothe any type of skin irritations that you have. Um, wonderful for burns, sunburns, I also said, burns off the stove, super soothing for your skin. Wonderful for hair support. I mean, lavender, we call it the Swiss Army knife of oils because truly there's so much to do with lavender. So just think all things calming and soothing for lavender. The next one is lemon. Lemon, I could literally give you 100 uses for lemon. Um, it's the best 10 bucks I've ever spent it is one of those oils that we don't go really long without. I usually have, I'm ordering this one a lot because especially with the boys, there's always something sticky. There's always marker somewhere or somewhere, something that needs to get unstuck. So lemon is a purifier and a cleanser. So, and it's also uplifting. So this is an oil that I love to just put in the diffuser to purify the air, to help cleanse the air and just create an overall uplifted environment. I can't help but smile when I smell this oil because it actually has like the chemical constituents in there actually do make your brain feel good. They make you feel happy and it's bright. It's refreshing. It's energizing. 
I love, because it's a cleanser and a purifier, I love to clean with my lemon. I add it in, I use some On Guard usually, um, but if I was just doing like a window spray or something, I would do lemon with some water, and you could do distilled vinegar if you like to clean with vinegar, and spritz all over my countertops, spritz on the windows, spritz in the bathroom, and it just a beautiful cleansing oil. It's also really good for immune support, so that's why I add it into my tea during the uh, fall and winter seasons to help boost my immunity and keep my immune system supported. Like I said before with the lavender, it's really good for respiratory support. So if you need a little bit extra support with your respiratory system, if you feel clogged, if you have like a stuffy head and you need to open up those airways, um, you could put some boiling water into a mug, put a drop of lemon and sit over the steam and waft it in. It's gonna help break up whatever you have going on in your nose. And it's really just gonna help open up those airways for a clear, easy breathing. So lemon, I mean, gets magic marker out. It gets slime out. It, it really gets grease out. If you are someone that likes to leave, or not likes to leave, but tends to leave the wash in the washing machine like I do, and it gets that musty smell, do 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 right over their clothes, do another rinse cycle, and your clothes will come out smelling absolutely fresh and beautiful, not chemical at all, no musty smell. So that is just a couple ways that we use lemon. There's so many more, but that's just a couple. Um, the next one is peppermint. Okay, so peppermint right now, especially, it is hot as heck outside. We are using peppermint on in a peppermint spray because it naturally lowers, helps to naturally lower your body temperature. So I have it in a spray right now with lavender too, um, but you could just do peppermint and water and spray on the base of your neck or add it to a cold compress and put on the base of your neck to really cool down your body. If you have a fever or if your child has a fever and you need to um, take down that fever naturally, all you have to do is use a little bit of peppermint down the spine and that will help to support the body. Um, peppermint as well, it's an amazing support for respiratory system. So like I said to do with the lemon in the mug, you can add a drop of peppermint in there too and breathe in for clear, easy breathing. Um, peppermint is wonderful for digestive support. So if you are someone that deals with bloat or you gas or you have issues in the bathroom that you can't go or you need to go more, or you're going too much, a little peppermint, one drop in your water or peppermint rubbed with some fractionated coconut oil or a carrier oil on your belly will help you feel a lot better and will soothe digestive discomfort. Um, any type of motion sickness, you can literally just sniff peppermint out of the bottle and it will help with any type of nausea motion sickness i swear i wish i had wish i was using oils when i was pregnant because i could have used a lot of peppermint during my pregnancy just breathing it in even just to get rid of that nauseous yuck feeling so we are coming into stink bug season the yucky stink bugs that tend to come the end of august and peppermint is an amazing repellent so what I love to do is just fill a bottle with some peppermint and some water and I will spritz around my window frames or windowsills where those stink bugs go or I will add peppermint into the diffuser if we're sitting outside and I want to get the pesky mosquitoes away. Um, peppermint is just an amazing, amazing oil for helping to naturally repel those pesky annoyances that can be around. Peppermint is also amazing in your cooking. I love to make a nice peppermint brownie around the holidays. My kids go crazy over these brownies and I just don't, I'm not like a hand baker from scratch, but I get my box of Betty Cracker uh, brownies and then I do two drops, two to three drops of peppermint in there and they taste freaking amazing. Um, you can also add it into smoothies and it's just a really cool oil. So, and I know I said before, but seasonal or environmental threats Lemon, lavender, and peppermint will be your trio for any type of seasonal changes that you have that are going outside, that you feel stuffy, coffee, all that stuff that comes along with all the things blooming in the chains of the season. Lemon, lavender, peppermint together will be your go-to. Okay, next oil is frankincense. And this is the king of oils for good reason. Frankincense, we say, when it doesn't make sense, frankincense. Okay? It's very easy to remember. When it doesn't make sense, frankincense. We say this because frankincense works on all of the body systems. It supports all of the body systems, okay? So respiratory support, digestive support, immune support. 
It is a powerhouse. I hope I don't lose the Insta. I just realized my phone is gonna probably die. Um, powerhouse beautiful oil. So it's when you're thinking immune support, if you're if you're making immune rollers, frankincense, add it to the soles of your feet, put it in those immune rollers. It's extremely calming, it's extremely grounding. If you are someone that practices spiritual practice, whether meditation or you do yogi um, or yoga, or if you're a yogi and you need to connect, this is an, an oil of the divine too. So it's a connecting oil to help you connect with your higher power. Frankincense is one of those because it works on the cellular level in your body. So it helps to duplicate and support healthy cell replication and duplication in your body. What I love to do, my favorite way to use frankincense is I add it to my face for a glow. I add it to my moisturizer or I will just have this in a roller and I will roll it over my skin at night or in the morning and it really just helps to turn over, keep those skin cells turning over because it's working on the cellular level and it gives that healthy glow that we're looking for. It helps to even out um, skin pigmentation as well. So super beneficial for the skin. Okay, that is frankincense. The next one is Breathe. Breathe is our respiratory blend. Um, if you have a snore in your home um, or if you have someone that needs extra respiratory support, like my son, uh, Jameson, he used to snore like a 90 year old man and he, he, he has developed um, asthma over time with his allergy that he has. And we help to support his respiratory system every single night by diffusing this along with lime in the diffuser. And it's just an amazing oil to truly open up those airways for clear, easy breathing. My favorite way is the breathe funnel or the cone. Put a drop of breathe on your hand, go like this, you make a funnel and you breathe in and holy moly do your lungs expand. It smells amazing, really opens up those airways. So any type of seasonal or environmental threats, if you've got a cold going on, if you deal with any type of respiratory stuff, breathe oil is an oil that you should have in your home. For one, it just smells phenomenal. It creates a positive, beautiful um, environment for sleeping as well. And it just really helps to naturally open up those airways for clear, easy breathing. And if you have snores, like I said, add it in the diffuser, add it on your soles of your feet at night with a little bit of coconut oil or carrier oil. And I'm telling you, your snores will turn into non-snores. I've watched it happen. It's amazing. Okay, digest then before we run out of time. Digest then is our digestive blend. So this oil is near and dear to my heart as well. My son, my middle son developed a um, autoimmune issue of his lower intestines when he was four years old, put on meds every single day for the rest of his life. That's what I was told, meds for the rest of his life. So my husband and I did a little trial run and we decided to start using Digest and Digestive Blend on his belly twice a day every day. And I'm happy to say he has not had to take meds in over three years. We have completely managed his digestive system by using the digestive blend. So don't get me wrong, he's a eight year old boy that gets a stomach ache here and there, but I'm so grateful that I'm not pumping medication into his body every single day. And I can either give him a digest zen digest tab, and it's like a little Tums tablet, or similar to Tums, like a calcium tab with the digestive blend in it that soothes his belly. And just this product is one of those that we don't leave the house without because kids always have some sort of digestive issue going on. Someone's got a belly ache here or something, you know, you never know. But this Digest and Digestive Blend, it's meant to help support a healthy digestive system. So bloat, bloat ga gas, sorry, bloat, gas, need to go to the bathroom, go in the bathroom too much. If you have agita up here and you have like, you know, a little bit paint, uh, discomfort up in your chest, Digest Zen will help. It's one of those oils that like, if someone has something going on, they're like, mom, where's the Digest Zen? Ben's like, Mare, where's the Digest Zen? It is an oil that we use all the time. Really helps with menstrual cramps too, if you deal with menstrual discomfort on your stomach. This is an oil that really helps for that. Um, next is the On Guard Protective Blend. I'm sure you've heard of On Guard Protective Blend. It's one of our most popular blends. 
we use this pretty much almost on an everyday basis in the winter and the fall season and in quarantine season we've been using on guard a lot i usually have it in the diffuser at least a couple times a week and if someone has something going on in their body on guard is one of the first oils that starts going on their body every single day multiple times a day so i will add this with a carrier oil and i will layer it on their feet i will roll it down their spine they will take it internally in hot tea my kids take this internally in hot tea all the time uh, we also have the on guard beadlets that they take we have the on guard plus soft gels we brush our teeth with on guard toothpaste we do mouth rinse with the on guard mouthwash we wash our clothes with on guard um, laundry detergent. I clean my house with the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate. I mean, no joke, my life is filled with On Guard. But knock on wood, my kids have gotten perfect attendance last year and this year. Granted, we have been cut short this year with the quarantine, but they would have gotten it. If we had the perfect attendance award, they would have gotten it because knock on wood, we have not gotten sick. I got sick one time after my cat died this year and it was emotional and I used my on guard to make me feel better. But other than that, we are very, very, very healthy family. My kids never miss school ever. Even when there's stomach stuff going on at school, people are throwing up. Guess who doesn't get it? My children don't get it. And it's something that I'm really proud of because I am super proactive with our healthcare. And it's something where I am putting this on them every single day, especially during those germing months. Now we don't do every day because obviously it's, you know, we don't leave our home, so we're not going anywhere. But yes, if I wanna support their immune systems, On Guard is a blend of oils that is meant to support your immune system. We cannot live in a bubble forever. We are going to come in contact with germs. Germs are not scary. We're, they're not scary. We don't have to be scared of them. We just have to be ready to handle them if we come in contact with them. I'm sorry, my legs are so asleep. Um, so we wanna make sure that our bodies are armed and ready in case we come in contact with something that may want to take down our immune system. Guess what? If you're using the tools that you need to use to keep your body supported, you are gonna be okay. So we wanna focus on proactive healthcare and that's what we do with our On Guard. When we're, when we're applying it on or in our bodies uh, once a day. Okay, we're gonna get into three more oils and then I'm gonna wrap this up because it's taken longer than I thought and I don't wanna take up too much of your time. So when we're thinking of overall natural wellness, we have to make sure we're thinking of the mind just as much as we focus on the body because we are a very intricate system. We work hand in hand, mind, body, and spirit. We want to make sure the, the mind and the spirit are there acting and functioning optimally. So that is where these next three oils come into. Um, adaptive. Adaptive is our calming blend. And this is an oil that we really all, especially during quarantine, tapped into. Um, I personally take the adaptive capsules. So does my husband. So does my father. So do all my friends. Um, so does my sisters. Like it is... One of those things, it's a blend of oils that's meant to calm you and help you adapt to your surroundings. So we are going to come in contact with stress. We, we're humans, we live stressful lives. Um, but this, the blend of oils in here helps you to adapt to those stressors and maybe just take a weight off to your shoulders a bit. I absolutely love this blend of oils in here. Um, it's sweet but citrusy at the same time and it really just does create the perfect calm atmosphere. I love it in the diffuser. I add it into a bath at night. Randomly I started taking baths for the first time like in a, I guess really ever during quarantine. Adaptive was always in the bath um, and it's just a beautiful calming oil. So it's meant to help you deal with stress in your life. Okay, so that's adaptive. The next one is balance. Balance is our grounding blend, and it's a blend of oils. When you think about, um, well, it's filled with tree and wood oils. So when you think about a tree, you think about its roots, it's deep in the ground, it's standing tall, it's grounded. This is how, what this bottle of oil is help, helping to support in your body. Grounded emotions. 
we need to ground our emotions. I know a lot of people don't know how to ground their emotions. And trust me, uh, my emotions are all over the place, especially hormonally sometimes. But what I like to do is I like to take my shoes off. I like to add a couple drops of balance to the soles of my feet. I will add a couple drops into my hand and I will sit there and I will take deep, deep breaths in and get my act together. Sometimes when mommy needs a timeout, I do this to just regain my composure, regain my thoughts and just ground my emotions. Now, balance is an oil that I use a lot on my boys. My boys are 10, eight and five. So we have a lot of different emotions and I'll, I'll add my husband in this too. He's in his 40s. So we have a lot of different emotions and adding in me who's 40 and hormonal at the same time. We had a lot of emotions going on in this family, a lot of hormones going on in this family. And it is very important to take hold of your emotions and ground them. And that's what I'm also trying to teach my boys. I'm trying to teach them it's okay to have emotions. It's okay to have these feelings, but when we can calm down for a second, realize we're having this emotion, we're having this feeling, and realize that there's something that's gonna help us chill for a second and gain our composure and just ground ourselves. The day is much better when we're able to do this. So balance is actually one that when we were in school, I would add to the base of their neck um, before they got out the door because I wanna make sure their teachers see them with a good head on their shoulders. They can go wild here at home, but when they're in school, I want a good head on their shoulders. I want them calm, chilled, chilled out, and balance grounding blend is the way to do it. Okay, last but certainly not least, Copaiba, Copaiba. Okay, so Copaiba or Copaiba, however you wanna say it. It is from Brazil, the Amazon rainforest. We literally tap these trees that have been there since like the beginning of time and this beautiful resin comes out and that is what Copaiba is. And Copaiba, like frankincense, works on all of your body systems. It has a support to all of your body systems. So it's an oil that should be on or in your body every single day to help your body function optimally. However, something that this focuses on is your nervous system. When you're thinking about nervous system support, if you are someone with high anxious feelings or very tense or deals with maybe extra thoughts going on in their head and you need to kind of just take the edge off naturally. I cannot stress enough what one drop of Copaiba under your tongue can do for you. One drop under your tongue of Copaiba is phenomenal to support the overall health and wellness of your body, but specifically your nervous system. If you wanna take the edge off, Copaiba one drop under your tongue. It's also really good for bodily discomfort. So if you deal with any type of bodily discomfort that you need some extra support for, topically add this with some deep blue or add it alone to help with any type of body discomfort. Um, but Copaiba, just an amazing oil. We also love diffusing this with serenity at night to create a calming, grounding sense. Um, my son's favorite, favorite calm roller is Frankincense Balance. Copai Eva, and then we also do bergamot in there. And you could throw us any citrus in there. It's just an amazing oil to support overall health and wellness, specifically mentally. So those are some of my favorite oils and I'm gonna pop off Instagram in a minute because my phone's about to die. But thank you guys for joining me. Um, just know that you're in charge of your health, okay? It's up to you. Like no one's forcing you to do anything. This is your life, it's your body. You are in charge of the type of life that you wanna live and the type of life that you wanna lead. So the choice is yours. You know there's tools out there to help um, create a healthier, happier life. And if you decide that it's your time that you want to take a proactive healthcare approach, I am glad to help you. If you're working with one of my leaders, they are glad to help you. I love teaching on natural wellness. I love what it's done for myself, for my family. It's an empowerment feeling that is just, it doesn't get better than this, to know that I've got the tools that really help support my family's everyday needs. And there's nothing more cool than that. There's nothing more empowering than that. So I'm grateful to be here um, educating on this platform. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. 
Um, and if you're catching just the beginning of this video, just make sure you tap into um, information on today's BOGO because it's there from Melissa, Roman Chamomile, and Yellow Mandarin. And thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day. And Insta, thanks for being here with me. I'm gonna hop off here quick. Hold on, there we go. And Facebook, as always, I love you guys. Hope you all have a great day. Um, if you are someone that is looking to start your natural wellness and you think the time is right, there are promos for this July for the next couple days that are running that you get 50 free dollars of oils of your choice. So if that's you, please reach out. I'm happy to help or my leaders are happy to help. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.